Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to my Indie Game Collective showcase of Game Deck. Now if this is your first time, or your hundredth time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. I cover a lot of indie games, indie demos, and great content like this from indie developers. So if you're into all things indie, you found the right place, smash that subscribe button right now. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is an indie game collective showcase of the game. So you may be asking yourself, what's the indie game collective? Well, let me tell you. We are a grassroots community of content creators spotlighting indie games. And we do, through, we do so through various means such as live streams, videos, written reviews, podcasts, theme curation, social media links, and so, 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 so much more. If you're interested in the indie game collective, there will be a link to the Twitter in the description below. Go check us out, and you can find more links to find out more about us on our Twitter page. I'd like to give a big shout-out and thanks to the indie developer and publisher of Game Deck for hooking me up with the code, and the Indie Game Collective for letting me showcase for you to hear today. Enough about all that good stuff. What's the game about? Let me tell you. This is a single-player cyberpunk isometric RPG. You're a game detective, and that's why the game's called Game Deck, who solves crimes inside virtual worlds. Use your wits to gather info from your witnesses and suspects, getting to the bottom of deceptive schemes. The game continually adapts to your decisions and never judges. Maybe the game judges you a little bit. Who knows? Maybe the, the game itself is like, you're getting kind of shady here, and I'm like, hey, I'm just making some decisions. Back off. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. It is fully controller supported, so I will be using my handy dandy PlayStation 4 controller as always. And let's jump into it. It's a strange profession. Game deck. You're neither a player nor a detective. You know the rules and how people break them. How they leave a digital trail. And there is always a trail. Interesting. Law and the source code. Back doors used by cheaters. My pumpkin. Anonymity skins used to cover up unpopular activities. <laughs> All can be found. All can be traced. With a lot of skill and a little bit of luck. Sometimes more than a little. Because there are surprises, even for a game deck. But in the end, you keep your eyes on the prize. This is my story. What's yours? Can I spend more time in Twisted and Perverted? That seems like my kind of place to go. That or the place that had all the pumpkins, that's kind of my thing as well. Uh, there's a place called Twisted and Perverted, I love it. Alright, so let's get our name. I, of course, am Bruce. I was born in Low City, for sure. Uh, Self-direction, stimulation, hedonism, achievement, power, security, conformity, tradition, benevolence, universalism, self-direction. I'm not sure what any of those uh, symbols mean. Uh, I just assume the heart means that you're a good-natured person. The puzzle means that you're good at solving puzzles. Maybe the light bulb means that you're good at charming. And I guess the fire means you're good at fighting. Um, I think I, I don't like I don't like hedonism. Um, definitely don't want power. Not for conformity, for sure. I guess we're going with stimulation. Hey, if we want to hang out in uh, Twist and Perverted, I guess stimulation is the way to go. Now, 
The roof of the Undercity is one of my favorite spots, even though I'm standing on one of the lowest walkways in Warsaw City, I feel like I'm on the top of a mountain. Below me is a 150 meter long gaping, gaping abyss, stretching over a seemingly endless ruins of old Warsaw. A ground cleaner's company, Cyclops, chugs away in the distance, clearing rubble from the old blocks of apartments. You look hard enough when those bonfires made by savages among the dust and the fog. I can hear the humming of a nearby MCC beacon sending guard and watching over me. Yes, the ROU is definitely one of my favorite spots. Blog, the dark side of Megapolis. There's going to be a lot of reading in this, so I do apologize. I will stumble, my brain will get twisted, and my mouth will get tired. So I have a, a beverage to my right that I might take a sip of every once in a while. Just to keep the old pipes loose. Because we're in for a pretty long journey here. I didn't remember why I became a game deck. Let's see. Dialogue options. Use the left analog stick to move it around. See the conversation history by holding down the right analog. Good to know. At some point I must have decided that it was a responsible way of making money. Sorry. At some point, I must have decided that it was a reasonable way of making money. Then I just got used to it. Let's uh, look around. I was surrounded by the real world, that is, Rillium. I could hear Warsaw City humming outside the window. I lived in the Tower Stone in Wola. It was the end of the 22nd century and the people were crazy happy. Kidding. Some were, some weren't. Which group did I belong to? I wasn't sure. Let's recall your career. I solved numerous cases, so people started to believe I was credible, and credibility was crucial in my line of work. Pretty much everything can be falsified, but you can't fake credibility. Games, besides being my workplace, also become my second home. Did I ever play for fun? Yeah, sometimes I did. This is too real. That sounds way too much like me. You know, I, I just realized I didn't change my character. I did my name, I did my traits, and I didn't go down to... Change what my character looked like. Oh well. It was time to check if there were any new jobs. So the left analog stick also does your movement. If you click on it, it can adjust your movement speed. Approaching the interaction icon and pressing A to interact with your surroundings. Stop interaction icons are always, some interactions are always visible. Those will only appear when circumstances are right, e.g. when you're near them. It's a jukebox. I want to be a jukebox hero. A jukebox, my latest purchase. There we go, that's some... Epic music. Hopefully the sound balance is right. Because I was trying to do my uh, pre-game sound checks and the music, even though the sound things are 100%, are very, very, uh, very low. So I'm going to be a little cautious and I'm just going to lower this a little bit more just to be safe. I'd hate for my voice to get blown out and just be a, a long video of just hearing the music and me going talk like this. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, let's look out the window. Warsaw City, my polis. Walkways, squares, pace, and chasms. That's what modern cities look like. The middle layer, mid-city, despite dense developments, you could still see the sun and pieces of the sky, as well as the long way down. It's a nice view. I felt a connection with the people above and below. Why is this bot scanning me? Get out of here, bot. Is he advertising a ship to me? Get the fuck out of here, bot. Um, I can hear the transit tubes. Phenomobiles? The humming adds, it was never quiet. This is where the rich meet the poor, the light meets darkness, a place where you could pretty much whoever, pretty much whoever you want to, to be. What? A place where you could pretty much whoever you wanted to be. Okay, that was my brain that broke that time. That's just a, a very... Concise sentence. And where advertising drones 
peep through people's windows looking for new victims. Yeah, that's basically what's going on. Let's contemplate. And a few things I need to think over. You really can't contemplate without a drink in your hand. Luckily, the serve bot knew exactly what I needed. I don't drink coffee. It's probably too early for a whiskey or vodka. Either whiskey would be my preference. So let's get a nice, uh, nice cup of tea. Professions. Some dialogue options are available only with the right profession. They are marked with profession name at the beginning. Press the D-pad to see the profession tree. There we go. Aspects. Aspects are part of the game deck's personality expressed through actions, thoughts, and emotions. Be kind to gain the empathy aspect. Inspire someone to gain the inspiration, etc. Aspects are grouped into four following personal view types. Decisive red, analytical blue, creative yellow, and sociable green. Green's probably not going to be my strong suit here. I can guarantee you that. Professions allow for special dialogue options, thus enabling more actions. Use the left analog stick or the down D-pad to switch between professions to see the descriptions. Each profession requires different personality aspects. The description will indicate which aspects unlock given professions. Profession will be highlighted if you have the correct required aspects. What a mouthful. So this is green. We have empathy, listening, trust, compassion, uh, amiability, service, pacifism, education, rules, calm, loneliness, caution, logic, facts, discretion, Accuracy, inspiration, spontaneity, optimism, verbosity, energy, expression, atmosphere, and intuition, determination, authority, sincerity, indifference, and patience, specifics, selfishness, and target. Maybe I should have taken three in that category. That sounds more like me than anything else. Uh, I'm not very spontane uh, spontaneous in real life. Uh, energy could be okay. So you want me to get uh, the infotainer? Let's read that first. You know how to produce a net show and how to smile into the camera. Hey yo, that's me, Gabagoo. You possess a rare gift, charisma. And you know how to use it. Do I though? I'm a, I'm a low tier YouTuber and uh, Twitch streamer. Eh. You can turn any conversation to a media interview and transform resisting interlocutors into effusive companions. That's a mouthful of a sentence. People recognize you and want follows with you. I'm assuming that's supposed to be photos. But I was just looking at my keyboard and see if the L and the T real close and I just mistyped it. And know the L and the T key are not very close together. Maybe a follow is something in the future I don't know about yet. Everyone is nice to you, almost everyone. What's a follow? We'll take the Reptile Blend. I always like tea. It opens your mind and cheers you up. That's very true. I had a decent chemical blend and the real one and more expensive stuff. We'll go with the uh, Reptile Blend. Food and drink manufacturers regularly supplied me with high quality products for my serve bot. All I do is mention their brand on my social media every so often. I decided to think some stuff over and get to work. I guess I don't have the glazer. It's a glazer, uh, yeah. To be a glazer, you need, um,. So that spent my points to do that. Okay. Good to know. So we have characters. Oh. We have virtualism. We have technologies. We have organizations. We have realism. We have deduction. Deduction. The main notes are questions that are key to your deduction process, solving your case. Gather information and choose answers based on the information to unlock nodes until you reach the final conclusion. Use L to switch between the nodes, A to enter the node. Probably a little early for that. 
Let's talk about the sensory worlds. Thousands of games and millions of players mean plenty of cases for game decks. Hatred, greed, and deviousness are especially common online. No joke. Two topics have been especially popular in the media recently. Digital love and whether it's better to live, along, live online or Aurelium. Uh, let's talk about uh, games Aurelium. I took a sip. Game fans say they let them fulfill their dreams that they don't have to obey the rules of nature, which is our, which are a bitch. They could choose gender looks on a go and adventures. Opponents called it escaping and claimed. You only get it tough in Aurelium. That's kind of true. Aurelium presents real challenges. On the other hand, good money can be made online too. It's no less complicated than Aurelium. Probably your first world choice here. Do we want to decide that you prefer Aurelium or decide you prefer games? I mean, I kind of prefer Aurelium in real life. I mean... I love playing games, I love reviewing games, I love talking to people who create games and all that, but I mean, let's face it, you're making money in the real world nowadays. At least I am. Games let me make a living and are purely and are surely fascinating, but I knew that if somebody plug pulled my plug, I could also disappear. You can't log out from Rillium when you have problems, you need to deal with them. Recent events. Some have been talking about the Pygmalion technology developed by Blue Whales Interactive. It upgraded AI to levels of human psyche. It's kind of interesting. Recent gossip, a man named Ken Zhao, a young good a bad star, screwed up in the last game and his Black Angels lost. Let's talk about Pygmalion technology. BWI claimed that they could create human beings, obviously a for a hell of a price. Such humans are called Digenets. A Digenet has a synthetic brain, a retinan, but no body. It lives online unless you buy it a Morbium. There were demonstrations at the company's location against the technology. The process claimed that Digenets were unnatural. I mean, they, I kind of agree with the protesters on this one. Digins have been tested, and the technology hasn't been verified. It worked because BW said it did. That's very true. Once again, we don't have Glazer. This is where right to the chip shape. Billion was suspicious technology. It's time to get to work. Let's look at the answering machine. Is there, um, seems to be a Twitch interface, that seems kind of interesting. I was trying to see if there was, a. Uh... like a way to turn on like closed captionings or something that way I could, it's easier to I mean I still heard everything she said but be able to read it at the same time for not only me but for you the viewer as well would be very helpful Let's take a call from Jeffrey Haggis. Someone was sensing me. It turned out to be a man called Jeffrey Haggis. I didn't know him. Nevertheless, I answered. 
Oh, you're there. Please come see me. Blue Whales Interactive Tower, level 255, south entrance. I'll tell you everything once you get here. Huh. I want to talk about money. Inquire about the detail. I get the details when I get there. Let's talk about the payment. Hold on. Let's have a little respect for each other's time here. I don't know anything about the case. And I'm sure whether a certain amount. I get it. You want a down payment. I'm transferring it right now. I hope it's enough. Yes, great. I'm waiting. He disconnected. Let's check the answer machine one more time. That's not what I meant to do. Let's just turn off the music for a little bit. While well, I was enjoying it, it kind of blocks out, at least to me, some of the text. I didn't understand 100% of what he was saying, but you know. Let's look at some hollow vision. Warsaw City News, the latest domestic and international news all day long. Today is Monday, July 17th. My name is Gina Gord. Oh my Gord! And this is the news. Uh, Kenzao, the young star, the good of bads. Loses the game miserably. So I blamed everything on the glitches in the game. Could be the end of the youngster's career. Bliss. The control panel for the apartment's AI, a fine piece of software that didn't treat fridge contents as first priority. Fridge contents as first priority. You can also talk to it. Its name is Bliss. That's the default name, and I never bother to change it. Let's activate the system. A logo with two whales appeared on the panel. Thank you for purchasing a product manufactured by Blue Whale Interactive, leader in the field of, of AI, BWI Never Alone. You're activating the Bliss for the first time to start configuring the software to your liking. Damn, something had to reset my settings. Probably another failure in the tower. Or surge upstairs. I had to reconfigure everything again. Uh, this is not the time for that. That's a couch? A virtual couch made by Surfer IND. Not one of the newest models, but it still is reliable. At least I thought it was. A poet would call it a gateway to the century of worlds. To me, it's just a tool of my trade. Uh, let's look at the helmet. It's starting to fall apart. I need to replace it. Damn it, such an important gear wouldn't come cheap. Let's check the fluid level. Fluid levels were low. I still had a few tanks left, but it's always good to have reserves. Let's order infusion fluid. Done the drill the drone. Should be in a few hours. Let's check the couch log. July 15, 21.99, 3.30 p.m. My last session took. Let's show you an error message and suggestion to restore default settings. So FD couches weren't liable as I thought. The thing's core days were long gone. A game deck shouldn't skimp on things like this. I'm consider buying a new one. Synoptic laser. I can't do anything about it. Seems like the laser is a good thing to go with. There's been a lot of options for that. My computer is controlled by the couch. Communicated with the household appliances. Let me send messages. And did everything else. It was only could use an upgrade, but still worked well enough for it to be reliable. Let's check some mail. Uh, fame had its price. I had hundreds of emails to ignore. I had my bot reply to most of the dedicated fans. There was also a few emails from clients I had helped. Those need replies. Let's 
First message, Senator Stone was grateful for working out with his daughter was doing in the dungeon 1337. Uh, we'll offer a discount on his next contract. The email was greatly opportunity to ensure his continued patriots. I offered him a discount next time he brings it my way. I go through another email as quickly. Some were invasions to events. Some were spam. I replied. Let's check at the contracts. I already had one contract, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Maybe there were another one. Friends would tip me off if they heard that someone, particularly a celebrity, had a problem to solve. Nothing at the moment, though. Uh, let's check the net. So the contract from Haggis was the best thing I could give my attention to. New case, I wonder if it had anything to surf the net. Let's look him up real quick. Who was Jeffrey Haggis, the director of programming department at Blue Wells Interactive? Gossip, disgustingly rich art collector. He suffered repeated burglary attempts and a conflict with his wife, Elnor, and his son, Frederick. He's supposed to have a real... He's supposed to have recently installed a safe in his office, which is open with music. I wondered how much that is true. Let's look up Blue Wells Interactive. Uh, the leader in the field at AI, the flagship product, the dating game, Paradise Beach. A little less known but still popular was the game Knight's Code, a clan battle game based on medieval Japan. Uh, they made luxury helmets, and ladies and gentlemen, they could make human beings. We talked about that already. Let's get on with it. Saw doors protect me in my apartment. Or maybe they protect Warsaw City from me. Let's go to the client. I mean, we're 30 minutes in. We haven't even done anything, so I feel bad. This is my apartment. Haggis's office is not too far away. Uh, Haggis's office. The communicators of the late 22, uh, 20, 2200... Uh, the communicators of the late 22nd century ensure visual, auditory, thermal, and olfactory contact. The conglomerate of sensual modalites is called sensory connection or sensing. A computer user connection to a user of the same device has access to four sensory representation but does not have to use them. Users often turn off the olfactory and thermal channels. Owners of newer walktails have access to optical, auditory, and limited olfactory channels, just like Omnic owners. The owners of the newest temple, Obicoins, can take advantage of the amazing quality of all channels. So we can send sensations directly to the interpersonal areas of the brain. Makes them better than computers. Thank you. We on, boy. Well, oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Let's look at this workspace real quick. Computer desk was not secured. The empty workspace... Ex uh, excluded corporate solitude. They put on the desk red. Junior cons customer support specialist. Uh, let's assess the chair. Economic chair adopted the size of measurements of the user. It was configured by someone small, likely a woman. Let's look at the monitors. The screen size of slideshow changed between landscapes, drawing ABBs, and the Tower Wars. Breaking the sequence, the imagine of two women embracing appeared on one of the monitors. One of them had blue hair. Let's log in. Brought to the screen and gained access to the desktop. It wasn't locked. Man, Glazer would really be... Glazer's really the, the boss uh, thing to have. What do you want over here? What do I need to get Glazer? I need one more puzzle piece. And one one light bulb, one one heart. There was an open beyond our precision and a finished hand of solitaire. It's all three blue wells put of the clouds, the company's logo, and may slide presented the financial results of the last quarter. I copied the presentation and to take a look at it later. I just get to see the game finished, so I started to arrange the cards on the screen. I finished it wasn't too bad a score. Look more to see here. It's a harp. He's chasing me. Gotta go. Oh.
Are you serious? What are you doing? I'm running away from you. I'll wait for you to calm down. Is that a polar bear? I mean, a panda bear? It's, it's kind of funny that the AI knows that I was just being, like, super sketchy. And it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with you right now. Come to me. The man took a deep breath and let out air through his nose with a loud wheeze. Dialogue tags. Icons and tags that appear on the left of the text mark dialogue branches that you have unlocked by your previous decisions. Other players might see something different or nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. There are several ways of inter interaction or a dialogue branch can be unlocked. Use previous knowledge, past actions, and relationship. You have to be on okay. Past choices. His gaze bores into me like he was trying to break me. How long do you expect me to wait? Take the initiative. That's who I am. Mr. Haggis, I'm game deck and... Yes, I know. Wonderful. Something's wrong with my son. He's not getting off the couch and... Well, let's see for yourself. It's been over four days. He entered some game with his friend, Timmy. Tried talking to Timmy, but he's clammed up. Because she makes me worry even more. My son's on the couch in the next room. Let's go in there. Of course Timmy had the ball. Can I drop an elbow on him? Here he is. Find out what's going on with him and how he can be helped. Haggis' son was wearing an expensive brand name, uh, brand name suit and a state-of-art helmet covered part of his face. The couch side panel warned that he exceeded the online time limit. I could help but notice that the genital area of his gaming suit was bulging. I bet he's a twisted and perverted. Look at the helmet. Let me know if you get a better look. Check the helmet number. I get a look at the number. I had to lift the boy's head. Raise Fredo's head. That jelly grabbed his head and a little. Fredo moaned. Watch out, you idiot. You heard him. I didn't freaking hurt him. Explain. I know what I'm doing. He'll be fine. Do you think I'm blind? You're hurting him. Leave him the fuck alone. I'll throw you out myself. Turn his head to access the panel's technical data. The boy exhausted heavily. Examine the suit. The suit was equipped with advanced anti bed sore software for some of the skin of a slithering snake. Uh, let's check the brand. See what's the same brand as the couch, 11 bits, top of the line, Blue Wells Interactive, didn't own it though. I ran my figures of the suit surface, and fibers emitted more heat in places that needed to work harder. We're going to check the couch. 11 bits, description and comfort, couch reeked of luxury and inability. Uh, let's check the couch's panel. Small screen displayed in front of his visual sign, pulse, muscle tension, and brain activity. Despite the high end hardware, the kid was sweating and using more neutral fluid than he sh should have been. His body was exhausted. Enough sniffing around, time is going on. Uh, we can present your report. I wasn't done examining him, sir. You, you want me to do the job, right? Let me do my fucking job. Please note that these are individual observations. Your son is fine. He's just playing something exciting. He's been logged in for over four days, but there's no sign of adverse effects from the session. This is some excellent equipment. Doing a hard extraction by taking the helmet off is a huge risk. Logging out remotely is impossible. I know that, you idiot. That's how most systems works, so don't you know where he's logged on to? Fortunately, I wasn't able to determine that. I need to find out which game Fredo logged into, then take the appropriate steps. Fine, just fine. Uh, fine, just hurry. Frodo's friend. Timmy's in the office. You can talk to him. Just don't touch anything else. Got it? The Codex is proper go to, uh, game deck tool. It serves all the important information you gather during claim play, gameplay. Organize, press to look at the Codex. So that's that. That's Bliss. Just gives me everything that uh, we've talked about. Anything new? Okay. 
get to work. So I take a better look at the kid and the equipment. Touch his hand. I took his hand. It was slightly trembling, but the normal temperature that happened in the game generally lots of adrenaline. I leaned over, look at his. Uh, I leaned over, look under his visor. There's something that extended online stay. Expensive ones did the trick. I don't want to check if he's faking. It seems like that could be a uh, the bitch couches full working order. The latest model, obviously. Let's search it. The casing was slightly loose. I tried to loosen the screw, but it went bulge. Tactically retreat, inspect carefully. Something was loose. There was a rather provocatively dressed 20 something old woman on the couch. Fenno was flashing warning signs. Check the couch's panel. She's exceeded the safety limits for the logged in time over four days without a suit. She must have taken a game pill. Her bladder wouldn't have held out. Uh, she started revitalizing something, interrupted the process. Even though she couldn't control her body, I thought she could hear me. Who is she? I don't know. I've never seen her, this woman before. Uh, she must have been playing a short session since she didn't put on a suit. She looked like one of the women I had seen on the computer screen in the hallway. Is that your assistant? She's just a random lowlife. Leave her alone and get back to my son. I'll do, f I'll do what I feel needs to be done. I, you know your work. I know mine. Uh, Connected to help me knows what I was doing. I want to talk to her through the observation port, which is, I know what it is. Stop insulting my intelligence and hurry up. I connected to her helmet. The image was changing to the lenses. The girl drifted in an undefined space. It wasn't the network menu or any of the games I knew. Hello, I'm a game bag. I was hired by Mr. Haggis. I connected to your helmet. Can you talk? And I'll hear you on my walk tell. According to the login, your name is Starlet. Is that right? A game bet that's great. Yeah, I'm Starlet. I can't seem to log out. I'm going to look around. The digital space was filled with data sets. The Wattel rendered in luminous shapes. I want to ask you a few questions. If it helps you get me out of here, ask her what happened. How did you get in there? I don't know. I don't even know where here is. I was in a game with the guys, and someone attacked me. Who attacked you in what game? Was Fredo Higgins there? Haggis. <laughs> Sometimes you gain information directly pertaining to your uh, deduction process. How to help Fredo? Good to know. I'm accusing exhaust as I can't. Someone definitely attacked me. I blacked out. Ask about uh, Idris. Do you know Idris? I saw your picture on her computer. Yes, yeah, she's my girlfriend. Did you come here to see her or the guys? Can we talk about that right now? Get me out of here. Ask about her condition. How are you feeling? Can't move or feel anything. I can only talk in the same I'm going crazy in here. Your realization was interrupted. I've never seen anything like it before, so I don't know how to help you yet. That's all for now. So what now? I'm going to offer assistance. Let me try to help you. Sweat off my shoulders. A progress bar. Appeared in your quest log, it is influenced by your decisions and dialogue choices. Remember that making it, maxing it out can prompt a negative or a positive outcome depending on the situation. Let's analyze the problem first. Interrupted uh, revitalization is rare. I could have just pulled off her helmet, but that might have ended badly. There was a safer solution. Revitalization is like walking, waking someone up. The senses are activated in a specific order. Hearing usually first, so Starlight was already active. Those stations are displayed on a progress bar, but I can't, could not recall the right order. I remember that vision was definitely last. Whoa, that's. Okay, sorry, I do. I don't. Uh, okay, sorry. I think I know how to wake you. Wait, I hear laughter. What's happening? 
My deck detected the girl's helmet was being barred by exobytes of data. Someone wanted to overload it and terminate our connection. Scarlet, someone's trying to either stop us from talking or probe me. Damn it, what are you going to do? Let's observe the uh, attack signal. Expectation was being overloaded by streams of incoming data. The walktail wasn't to interpret it. Let's activate the firewall. Activate some barriers to block the signal. It's only a matter of time before they crack it. It was possible to use jamming. It was possible to use jamming barriers to slow the attack, or some much weaker reflection barriers to trace the attack source. Let's use some tracking barriers. It was coming from the virtual room. Scrap the attack is coming from in the game. I don't know which one. Must have stepped on someone's toes. Too bad I can't remember whose or theirs. Uh. I don't know the proper steps. Uh, I'm going to awaken her by stimulating her senses. The correct order was key. The realization bar has stopped. I'm stimulating. So I'm going to try finishing the revitalization. I'm going to need to touch your body. Is that okay? Whatever is necessary. Uh, I'm going to move Starlet's arm. I felt around the Starlet's arm and realm, raised it and moved it around. Uh, I really need to get this in the right order, don't I? Um, um, I'm going to go with... I'll come back, I promise. Termination hoping the attacker hadn't been able to identify me. I couldn't do anything for Scholar anymore. A piece of floor stood out from the rest. There was a chance of flaw in design, not in a building like this. Take a closer look. It looked like a hatch. Had to be a sound activated safe that Higgins had installed. Amal looked as if it was frozen in time. Take a closer look. Submerged in a transparent resin substance. The panel seemed alive. Spinning with a single red button on the base of the display. I'm going to knock on the glass. I knock softly. The light animal glanced at me. I feel like if I push the button, it's going to like... There was, uh, the floor was sticky at that spot. Let's take a closer look. The stain was light blue. Sniff it. Berries and chewing gum, a barely noticeable trace of liquor. It was Blue Mistress. Champagne often mistaken for something more expensive. I guess it didn't seem like the fan of such drinks. I mean, we gotta taste it, right? Everyone fingers crossed stain, touched the fingertips with sour. The ethanol was long gone. Caught the kid's, kid's surprised look. He cleared his throat and looked away. I was running an investigation. All details m mattered. Send an info file, info file open to be on my homepage. I just finished all by myself. After all, I had once done a vlog about artificial intelligence. Not a word. Or read it. The article was about the flagship between a donor, allow me to create living human psyches. I copy the rest of the codex. Get back to it some more time. Let's take a look at his computer real Nope. Uh, stream of stock market quotations appear on the screen. The hardware was high end. It's everything else in the room. System access was blocked, but I was convinced I could lock it down if I tried. This had to be the hardware that was monitoring Fredo's couch. Let's try entering a password. System access was blocked, but I was convinced I could log in if I tried. Um, Panda? For a password upon a second failed attempt, the terminal will be locked for 48 hours. If I had glazer or sleeves, I could do something. Let's just leave that for now. Maybe we'll figure it out. It wasn't Panda. Let's talk to Timmy real quick. Are you going to, uh, Some dialogues require more effort. The blue bar above the dialogue window represents the emotional state. The person you're speaking to, the choices influence the state. Press X to hear see the bar's details. Let's get into it. 
Let's just try to calm him first. Questioning is best left to the police. I'm here to help Mr. Haggis, the son. So let's just talk, all right? Okay, I want to help too. Tell me what happened. It was Fredo's 16th birthday, and we, we were inside an adult game. He turned red and started. I told you he was a twisted in pleasure. What did I say? What do you know? Talk to him about Tim. Ask about Starlet. Ask about Fredo. Um. I'm going to talk about you. Let's focus on you, Timmy. Let's ask him if he's alright. Are you right, Timmy? You're soaring your words and trembling. How do you feel? Not too good. I'm a bit dizzy, but that's from the fatigue we play, play for time, you know? It doesn't seem like fatigue. It doesn't seem like fatigue, Timmy. Tell me what happened. Why don't you believe me? We didn't do anything strange. I'm a good, good aimer. I can't give it them all, that's all. Let's ask about Fredo. Your friend. Let talk about Fredo. Tell something about Fredo. Anything you want. Uh, he's my buddy. Same school and stuff. Once. It's because Alex called me names. So Fredo f flushed his walktail down the toilet. Then he altered the hollows in the school gallery to give Alex picks now. Okay. Uh, you're, you're a game deck? Yes, Timmy. I'm a game detective. Cool. Can you tell me a bit about your work? Yeah. Sure. I got a, a few questions for you. He nodded. All right, I believe you want to help. It's for his birthday. Did I already mention that? I'm not sure. So we logged in. Paradise Beach. It's a place where adults get together. You can read all about the description. I'm going to tell about game deck work. I know about game deck work as a detective. I help people with their problems within the scope of Century Worlds. Have you ever heard of CEO Slayer? I tracked him over eight virtual auto, destroying many accounts. Government server on the way, but I called him. Can't you tell... Can't tell you his identity. It's a secret, you know. Almost at the floor. I don't get it. it just says one or two. You seem all right. I'll tell you what photo looks like in the game. He bought us both skins, and mine are almost as cool as his. I mean, Haggis doesn't know. We used an agent and covered our tracks, so no one would find us what we were wearing. What well, can you tell me about Scarlet? She's she's a stripper. She knew the game well. So Fredo hired her as a guy. She was very brave. What did she do that was so brave? She was dancing so flirtatiously, into teasing us. She was so direct. She knew a little of the world, but brave enough to guide us. And she was so provocative. Thankfully, mainly toward Fredo, she barely spoke to me. He seemed to be gaining courage. What do you need to know? What do you need to do to become a game deck? Tell me he's got a shot at it. So it'd be game deck, Timmy. I'm sure you can handle it. Ask about the virtualum. Uh, where did he leave Fredo? Where was Fredo when you came out of the game? He was on the beach by the the big dunes. Were they planning on staying there? That's rather vague. Do you remember anything that could help me identify the beach focus? Oh, that kind of pissed them off. There were fine yellow sand, bright blue sky. I mean, you had some gravity beach chairs, strip ones. I believe you really do want to help. Ask him about that. Why Paradise, why Paradise Beach? Why do you choose Paradise Beach? Well, to have fun. There's a central wrestling to the west of the main entrance where you can join some rock tussles. Did you see it? Yeah, I won. I, I won three times. There's no such thing in Paradise Beach. The kid was lying. Has anything been threatening Fredo? Did he have any enemies? No, everyone likes him, admires him. Uh, he has best graphics animation. He was the best Fast Fury. He bought the best speeder, the one of 15,000. 
I raised my eyebrows in amazement as I listened to recounting of Freya's achievements. The kid was burning through money, finding anyone in his way, and interestingly able to avoid consequences of his actions. Uh, Tim Seen revealed a friend's insolence. Okay. Uh, and everyone envies says, no, no, you know, they're supposed to be like, you know, don't you? Everyone envies us. No risk, you know. This was supposed to be like that. Y you know how it is, don't you? Yeah. Sure. Everyone likes to show off now and then. Asking why Freddy wasn't coming out of the game. Why is Freddy still inside the game? I don't know. He liked it there and wanted to stay a little responsible. Maybe, maybe he's having fun. Could Freddy have lost track of time? It would have been an amazing possession to discard a danger of exceeding the permanent playtime. For the game backs can pull players out of tough situations. Have you have always been him? I'm not going to impress a police officer. What, what good does that do me in this situation? Uh, tell me about the tragic consequences. You can't promise anything. I'm usually able to get people out of trouble, but I'm not infallible. Next time, don't do anything stupid. So why'd you like off without Fredo? I didn't want to leave him. I was feeling bad, that shaking, you know... What kind of games do you like, Timmy? Whatever Flater plays. Uh, Space Sims, Dream Space, Dying Star Shooters. Ask how many worlds they played in. Somebody for his birthday in just one verbo? Yeah, we did some pre-gaming here first. You did kind of very had trouble putting on a suit. You show understanding. I know how things are, Timmy. When I'm your age, I always swim to parties and drink booze. Booze is for the old, the uh, old part of Fredo and I have better stuff. My girl's Fredo brought the booze. She said that included, trust you and tell you the truth. Just please don't tell Mr. Agus. Went inside, twisted, perverted. Told you. Told you it was twisted and perverted. It's horrible on Fredo. He's still in there. Please find him in a hurry. Thank you, Timmy. Um, I knew the instrument. I looked within some inspirations, closed my eyes, surrounded the moment, touched the strings, and music sorted the flow. I wanted to express something important. Something about a man who didn't understand his fate because obviously he didn't know the future. Shabu, man, that sent chills right through me. What was that? I've never heard expect talent. Nothing much, just some improvisation in the moment, thank you. Some of the call the sound of the harp cools my thoughts and calms me down. It's better than CC pill, if you know what I mean. Alright, get back to work. Let's examine the harp. The exotic wood, rich in vinyl ivory, the petals are probably Remember that Haggis had to order a musically open safe that made me wonder the sounds of the harp. Let's try to activate the hidden safe. Find a list of songs of automatic playback under the movable ivory ornament. I picked change name, open safe, thanks, Haggis. <laughs> Filled with the cost of lover's loss. Boom. Do you want to talk or something? You just stink. Hope you can get Fredo, yeah. Bye, Timmy. Hang tough. Uh, there was an open safe on the floor. Let's check the contents. Uh, let's check the chief chief figurine. The figurine resembled chief figurine in the front office. A gold plate with words, Axius Mundi was graven in it. Soon. Let's look at the briefcase. So the briefcase hold hollows of young men holding an attractive woman. I like to be loving embrace. A close look at the face and body language made clear she wanted to get away without doubt. A young man was Fredo. I realized the woman looked like the one I seen on the secretary's Computer, based on what Charlotte said, it must have been Idris. Uh, and file fetched to Holos, check it out. It seemed Magus was being blackmailed, box of pills. Plenty of game pill packages in the SCC, stay on target, even an L pill. Not legal, but what does he have to do with L pill? Huh. Got the Timmy.
Uh, main note is the question that you're trying to answer on the left side. See the clues you've gathered. Possible answers are listed on the right. Uh, use L to switch between them and learn more. Every deduction. Oh, hold on. Timmy suffered a psychological trauma while in the virtual home. One should approach his testimony with caution. Uh, it seems straight on Timmy went to the game for players of their age 16. The game that Fredo and Timmy entered allows players to fight each other. It's a game of PvP. Someone's putting the pressure on Haggis. The boys are in paradise. The boy is in Twisted. Huh. Two might have visited Paradise Beach in the game. Might have visited Twisted. So what do we want to look for, Matt? Do we look at him at Twisted and perver Perverted or inside Paradise Beach? So we only get that one choice, huh? Okay. Let's enter Alex Munda. Access granted. Booyah! Hi, buddy. What can I do for you? She cuts you up instantly looking at me. Oh, you're not Honey Bunny. Did something happen? Is he all right? I mean, is Jeffrey all right? Excuse me. I haven't talked to other people in years, so is he okay? Uh, let's calm her down. Nothing happened. I just need access to the computer. Oh, yes. Let me give you a tour. I have access to emails, reports, bills, some other systems. What would you like to see? Uh, let's ask about couch control. I want access to the couch control panel. Uh, logins. Uh, couch one is Fredo. Most recently logged in with Timmy. His guest. Show me Fredo's monitoring. Do you know where he's logged in? Fredo, the data is encrypted. Honey Bunny made it so, but I connect to the boy and describe what he's feeling. Have her describe it. All right, do it. I make a connection. I can't say the. I can't say like the kid's thoughts. Ask about Fredo's thoughts. What don't you like about him? It's hard to say. He makes me sick. I sense the same percent from him as I do from Honey Bunny. It's pretty noticeable, whereas Fredo's it's hard to explain like how I receive Cynthia. It's getting very, very excited. It's far beyond the limits of red ecstasy. I've described the ecstasy. Focus on ecstasy. Describe it. Oh yes, crimson. I love the color. All that red. Don't stop. Aramith, scarlet, crimson. Oh, ah, uh, Honey Bunny. From the air, I have a nice day. Blue whales interactive, never alone. Well, we didn't get much out of that. I think we've already done all this. So we basically just abandoned her to uh, her fate. I've got a decision about Fredo. Uh, Fredo might be inside the adults only world, twisted and perverted, you know. The one combining sex and violence. I should look for him there. That's what I was afraid of. Do your thing. The access fever and will be taken care of. All expenses are on me. I think another search. Something bad has happened in TMP. Fredo must be in there, so I need to go in. Try not to molest me while I'm in there. Let's do this. Let's see how twisted and perverted this is going to be.
Twist and Burger HUD. Each frenum has its own HUD, a size bar on top of the screen. Uh, and Twist and Burger HUD is always player's level. And experience points, slots, or own objects in a counter, kills, and deaths. Buddy. You seem like the only normal person in this whole circus. I'd like to think that I don't want to put anything inside you or pull anything out. You know, the, the deviance, I'm not like that. You seem like the only normal guy in the whole circus, and I have a sensitive problem. Very sensitive. I'll just say it. I'm looking for my wife. I'm looking for someone, too, perhaps you could. And I have my own problems. My marriage is going to, down the rocks, basic social kind of stone. Who are you anyway? A loser, can't you tell? Enough. Alright, so what about your wife? Alright, this is how it is. I'm sitting here in the street light for an hour and can't find her anywhere. Same time, I can feel she's cheating on me. Let's get to the chase. I'm game deck. I need information about your wife. Not that you had breakfast. I lucked out. I was told that she plays here often and quite the results. I'm a game deck, get it? I don't work for free. Damn, I'm a little sort of money right now. Maybe you can come to some other arrangement. Don't worry, I don't want money. Just tell me what you saw while you were standing here. Phew, I knew that we'd find some common ground. So you help me? Yeah. Alright, I'll look for her. Thank you. There are some good people left in the world. I was looking for someone, maybe... Um, my brain is boiling. Humor me. I don't even know what happened to her. Uh, do you know what the handle she uses? There was something in this diamond slayer, uh, horny or something. Do you know the skin your wife is wearing? Skin on top of everything. She's wearing people's skins. I mean the skin, you know, like a gaming avatar. It's like, oh, I know what a skin is. I just thought you were talking about other perversions. I know what she looks like. Preferences, you know what your special... It says uh, she's into some strange things like pushing the limits. How can you push limits in a world just such as this? Enough. I'll just do what I can. Piss off. A big fish, more like a small but loaded one. The turd in the subway, he got on the wrong side of the boss. And now you're after him. If we if we caught him, we could afford those Louis, Louis Fafon skins. But how will we get him? He disappeared somewhere. Now let's get to work. They'll throw us out of the clan. I have a question for you. Well, yeehaw, cowboy with that hat. You must have something really interesting to say. I heard you talking about the skins, and damn it, you raised my interest. You have sublime taste. It's a rare thing here. The skins are amazing. They're the only chosen. People can have them. Princess and everything. The skins have customized blood. You can choose its smell and flavor. Ever seen one of those skins? Yeah, but I've never tasted one. A kid named Tage Bay was intoxicated, so it would be easy to get one. Ask about the big fish. I heard someone say about a big fish looking for. How do you know? Well, how do you know? I'm looking for a kid who was around here with a friend. They may have been acting strangely. It was the first time. I don't know what they look like. Probably had some top in line skins. The kids friend might have been alive and frightened. Do you know anything about them? I'm wondering I'm <laughs> I'm wondering priests of the Techno Faith of Rajan, the Thunder God. The kid wanted me to enlighten him, they could a divinity and reach a higher world. Still got clients. The media around the karma. Oh boy, oh boy, could you enlighten us and make us divine? My lovely ladies, as soon as I'm done with this job, I will enlighten you, make you divine, and the thunder and lighting will bring you XC. I guarantee you transition to a higher conscience. Meantime, I need some more information about the kid. Time's a factor. At the party we saw at the gates, his name was Tungay, Tungay Bay. His buddy, was, his buddy was called Freaking Flap Doodle, really? That Tugman treated the other one like crap. He pissed off the people. Bring him to us. We're done. 
I'm looking for a certain woman. Everyone knows her. They call her horny. Horny, they're, they're almost all. Oh, you mean horny, honey. I doubt she'd be interested in you. You're out of her league. Babe, get your facts straight first. Don't see the skin? Look deeper. Let me know where I can find her and we can verify my league. Why you're sensitive? She's such a complete wacko. Doubt you'd be able to hang out with her. Such psychos aren't worth your time. In the alleys with shady guys. Let's go. I'm really different. Sorry. Who says I'm not a clan? Ask about them. What clan are you talking about? The Holland clan in Knight's Code, sweetheart. Tell me, have you ever wondered about the point of human existence? Man, dialogue tree after dialogue tree. Of course, every intelligent human started How'd you end up in the clan? Back when I was living in High City, my old man. Me and stop teaching ancient history. No one cares about your old man. Let me tell you a story. You need at least three days. Welcome to the abridged version. I met Ye, uh, me at the Yeetis Clam, some place close city. I thought it was a muskier hunting, some adrenaline, decided to rip her off. First permission, she turned out, lost bird looking for refuge, took her in. She had the space behind my younger sister. She realized that we were both in the Hong Clan, but not here in the other game, nice code, but it was not easy to join. You needed something to offer. We became a couple of rogue created energy. Why did you have our time joining the clan? The money membership was arranged. She wanted to meet it pretty bad. Some she just killing. Tell me about your father. He's a piece of crap. Old man is Count Wilhelm of von Lechtenberg. It's enough. Get the outside of him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for my look at game deck. I went a lot longer than I wanted to. Normally, these videos are like 30, 45 minutes. We're over an hour at this point. So this is going to be like a tremendous video to upload. But it's a lot of fun. It's very in-depth. And we're only on our first case. We're probably like only halfway through it. So in the link, there will be a link to the game in the description below. A link to the Steam page where you can pick up uh, game deck. It is currently on Steam sale because right now the summer sale is going on. For seventeen ninety nine, that's forty percent off its regular price. So go buy it now. Um, there's also a demo that you can try out first before you buy it. I recommend that. Make sure you wishlist it if you just want to put it on hold for now. Once again, thank you to the Indie Game Collective and the publisher developer for letting me showcase this. It means a lot. Once again, check the description below for all the links pertinent to the information I provided. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know I'm doing a good job. Also helps me with the YouTube algorithm as well. I'll be back at it again with more indie games, demos, and great content like this from indie developers. Until then, I'm going to log on to log off. I'll haunt you later.